Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Parsha Studio. In Parsha's Noah, Hashem instructs Noah to build a teva to save him and his family from the marble. Today we will make a stained glass craft depicting a floating teva in the midst of a flood. Here are the supplies we will need. Clear glue, ribbon, three small cups, blue and purple glitter, black glitter glue, purple and blue food coloring, tape, scissors, three popsicle sticks, a picture frame, and the Teva template printed out. Let's begin. Unwrap the picture frame, remove the cardboard backing and the slip of paper, and if there's a layer of plastic over the glass, remove that as well. Imagine taking a trip in a giant submarine. You stand in the cockpit in front of a large glass window, admiring the beautiful sea anemone and watching thousands of fish swim past. Big, small, colorful, and even spiky. Place the clear glass piece back into the frame and push the tabs back down, holding it in place. Next, cut out the Teva template. Suddenly, an enormous shark comes your way. It has hundreds of teeth and looks quite scary. But you aren't afraid, because the shark can't touch or hurt you while you're inside the submarine, surrounded by its solid walls. Tape the little Teva to the back of the frame facing down. Turn over the frame and fill in the Teva shape with black glitter glue. In our Parsha, Noach builds a Teva to protect himself from the waters of the Mabel. While we don't have to build a physical Teva, as there is no Mabel that threatens us physically, there is a spiritual Mabel, the challenges of the world that can surround us and even drown us. We are not faced with a physical shark like in our imaginary example, but we are faced with other menacing forces that try to distract us from serving Hashem and convince us that the world around us exists for itself. You can use a popsicle stick to even out the shape if needed, peel off the template, then let the frame set for approximately 45 minutes. Pour about a tablespoon of clear glue into three small cups. Add a drop of purple food coloring to the first cup and a drop of blue to the second. Leave the third cup clear for now. Use popsicle sticks to mix the cups of colored glue. Add a dollop of blue glue to the clear cup to produce a lighter shade of blue. Mix it well with another popsicle stick. Use the colorful glue to portray a raging flood as a backdrop to the peaceful floating teva. Place the picture frame face down and drizzle a light blue, purple, and dark blue glue across the surface. You can blend some of the drizzles with a popsicle stick to merge some of the colors. So what's an example of how we might be distracted from serving Hashem? Let's say your mother needs your help but you want to finish reading your book. The book is distracting you from doing the mitzvah of honoring your mother. To protect ourselves from this flood of distractions, we need to build a spiritual teva. Our teva consists of the words of Torah and Tefillah. Connecting to Hashem through these words remind us that Torah and mitzvot are the true reason for the world's existence and everything else exists only for this purpose. Immersing ourselves in the words of Torah and Tefillah therefore strengthens our neshama, protecting it from the marble waters. Sprinkle a small amount of purple and blue glitter across the glue, then let the frame dry for about 24 hours. Here's a question to think about now that we know that davening and learning Torah can protect us from the flood of the world. What is one way to improve the way you daven? Cut a long piece of ribbon for hanging and tape each end to the top of the picture frame. By the way, here's a fun fact. The word teva doesn't only mean ark, it also means word. When Hashem tells Noah, come into the teva, come into the ark, we can also read this as Hashem telling each of us, come into the teva, come into the words, the words of Torah and tefillah. Choose a sunny spot to hang your sun catcher and watch your marble art sparkle. See you back again next week, and if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.